Hi people and I'm back cooking again and today I'm going to make a hung uh, Hungarian goulash. These are all, uh, these are all the ingredients. Uh, I'm going to put them in a casserole dish because it needs to go in the oven and uh, I'm just going <laughs> to, I'm not going to cook, I'm not going to put it in the oven because I can't get it. Right, I'm just going to give the meat a good wash and a, well, a good rinse under the tap and while I'm on with this um, I just want to say as you all know Pod Awful has been spreading a lot of lies about me and I've also been spreading lies about him Now I'm cutting the green pepper up I'm going to cut it into four which makes it easy to get all the inside and seeds out. I'm probably, t I'm probably throwing away more than what I should do. Um, but uh, well, that's just like me isn't it, to throw away a lot more than I'm supposed to. That's got a bit too much on it still. Right, and I'm going to get these others done and get rid of all the seeds and everything that's not supposed to be there. And then I'm going to cut them up as finely as I can. seeds in this one right so that's oh see there right so that's that done now I know a lot of you have been saying get a sharp knife these knives mm, if I could talk right these knives are sharp it's just that my eyes aren't very good and when I think I'm cutting I'm slicing past it so it's not the knives it's me so now I'm going to cut these up, I'm going to cut them one way, then I'm going to cut them the other way and hopefully they're not all staying together but never mind. So I'm going to cut them, cut these few in the, in the end and in the middle and the end again. And I'm going to put them in the dish and then just keep cutting it until it gets too small that I can't cut it across. And then I can put that in the as well and all I'm going to do is just do it with the same the same with them these three I'm going to do the same with them and then put them in the same dish uh, at the same pan and um, well then I'll show you what else to do next and now I'm going to cut the onions up I'm going to do the same with them put them along And then I'm going to cut them this way. And then I'm going to put them in the dish and finish cutting them up. Oops, onions flying all over the shop. Now I'm only putting half the onion in because it says small onions 
and I've got big ones. Now what I'm going to do is, I'm going to cut the carrots as well. And yeah, instead of dicing them one way than the other, I'm just going to cut them as thin as I can. Dish pan, I mean pan, pan. Next dish. <laughs> right, salt, pepper, and I'm going to use some nutmeg. No, I'm not. <laughs> I can't even open it with your for that. Found it. Is that it? Put some nutmeg in. <laughs> I forgot. And I'm going to put some pepper. Oh God, I can't even talk. Puree tomato. <laughs> oh my word. What's it say? Um, I can't see it. Tomato puree, three tablespoons, three dessert spoons will do. Oh, it's that's one. Two. Put the lid back on that. And it says <laughs> it's alright, I've just not my pop flying if anybody wants to know what that commotion was. And it says uh, uh and it says a tin of tomatoes. These are chopped tomatoes. I'm not looking forward to it but And I own a, it says uh, there's a lot of other things like red wine and all that lot, but I ain't adding red wine to. I don't drink red wine, so I'm not adding it because I don't use it. So, what I'm going to do is I'm going to give it a good turnover. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to add, uh, it says to add a beef stock. I think it means, well, with some form of juice in it. I don't think it means just add it as it is. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to put an oxo cube, that's a beef stock in a cup. I'm going to Melly. Mm. And the kettle's just boiled because I've just had a latte. And I'm not going to do it too much. Um, just enough. Like I said, you can you, you can put red wine in it if you want. I'm just putting it in what I think is right. I'm just getting some more boiling water. I'll just get rid of that in the bottom of the cup. And then 
Now that meat will want cooking for at least half an hour. No it doesn't, I'm lying, it wants cooking for an hour. So I'm going to put it in the oven. Ah. I'm going to put it in the oven for an hour. Well for half an hour, then I'm going to take the lid off and then I'm going to let it cook for the rest of the time. Right, as you can see, it's had its half hour, well it's had its hour. Uh, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to dish it out. I've got wrong spoon, no man. A few carrots there. And that is the end product of the Hungarian goulash. Lee's coming to do the taste test. The dishes with the dish. Yanking the dish out of my hands. Oh, standing here. Yeah, yeah. me. Say so something in Hungarian. <laughs> Me, I don't. <laughs> I'm only just learning Spanish. It's very, very tomatoey. I mean, it's very, very tomatoey. They are stronger. Um, um, the meat is nice and tender, which is good. Carrots are just nice, and onions are nice as well. But yes, yeah, that's nice. What? I can't have tomatoes. Yeah, it, it, the tomatoes are very strong. Yeah. Oh, I'm not having any of them. So you have to have it all. Uh, I hope that gave you a rough idea on how to do beef goulash. Beef goulash. Hungarian goulash. Like I said, you're supposed to put red wine in it and celery and I don't think food and drink mix and, and I don't even like celery. Anyway, if you like what you see, please keep viewing me. If you want to give me a big old thumbs up, it'd be, it'd be much appreciated. And if you want to leave a comment, please feel free, the more the merrier. And if you haven't subscribed, or you know someone who hasn't subscribed, get subscribed, subscribing yourself and get them to subscribe. Thank you. Bye.